The AFC West, you are calling games for the Los Angeles Chargers again. You are intimately uh, knowledgeable of this division and everything that goes on within it. Toughest division in football. I think that's obvious. How do you see it sussing out? How do you see it shaking out? I think it's going to be one of those uh, one of those years where we have so much talk about the division coming into the season. And it, look, they can't all win 14 games. <laughs> so I think they could beat up on each other and all the kind of everybody's expecting we're just going to get three playoff teams out of this division. Uh, man, I, it could end up being one of those years where, you know, 10, 10, 11 wins gets it done because every single one of those games is going to be competitive and it's going to be taxing. So not only do you have kind of the emotion and, and then the quality of opponent that goes into these matchups, a bunch of them are going to prime time as well. And then you've got to turn around and get right back up the next week. I think there might be a little bit of a, a price to pay there. So, uh, I, I think it's easily the best division in the NFL. I think they're going to beat up on each other, and I think it could be one of those deals where at the end of the regular season we say, man, I thought we'd have a you know, 13-14 win team, and we don't have that. In the, and then that 10-11 win team gets into the postseason and they're healthy and fresh and beat the brakes off everybody else. So who do you think's got the best roster, top to bottom, going in? I mean, I, I, you know, I always preface it. I work there, but I, I think the Chargers have the best roster, one to fifty-three, um, in, in that entire division. It's just a matter of, of them being able to finish games and and keep their key guys healthy. Uh, and I think Kansas City. I, I do think you'll see a little bit of a find your sea legs with them early in the season, but Andy's going to figure it out, and, and uh, Pat will figure it out, and they'll be playing their best football as you come down the stretch. But I mean, I. Who's who's finishing under 500 in this division? Like, uh-huh. I, that's the that's the challenge. It's some you, you figure that somehow somebody's going to fall off there, but uh, it's going to be uh, it's going to be fun to watch. I know that. I can't wait for those division games. Yeah, Justin Herbert and uh, Patrick Mahomes were two of the six quarterbacks that wound up in the tier one category of the athletic story that Mike Sando put together uh, with 50 evaluators and coaches and general managers in the league. Did you agree with that list of the six top? Uh, tier one QBs and Burrow and Brady and Aaron Rodgers and Josh Allen, along with Mahomes and and uh, Herbert, rounding out those six. Do you agree with that assessment? Yeah, I, I yeah. I mean, I think you can argue about maybe the order within those guys, but to me, those are you know those are kind of those guys. You know, Russell Wilson. You know, prior to last year, I'd say probably gets his way in there. Um, there's some, you know, there's obviously the, the Sean Watson ones. I, I don't know how you stack him in there. You know, how, where do you place him? Mm-hmm. But as a player, when he's on the field, Rich, he belongs up there in that in that conversation. But you know, again, I, that, that's a tricky one. How you you sort through all that stuff? I think Lamar um, is is you know may, maybe you could push him up a couple spots. I know that's the one that everybody's going to always point to when these lists come out, and you know, kind of the disrespect and. I get all that, but if you just said me personally, I would take, you know, to go play a season, this upcoming season, I would take those tier one quarterbacks and maybe a slightly different order, but that, you know, I could get on board with that, with that group.